This is the Alabama Orthopedic Clinic D1 Training High School Football Preview Show. Yeah, uh, every week, Dr. Clayton Lane joins us here. Good to see you again, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing uh, great. So last week, we were talking about uh, ACLs and problems there. Another injury we see, shoulder shoulder dislocations. That's, uh, I mean, it, is it just um, uh, kind of like not just football? I'm just guessing like you're playing soccer, you fall. Like it seems like this is just a, one of those athletic injuries that has a chance to happen to anyone. It is. It's in any sport. But unlike what we talked about last week, we talked about how ACLs were non-contact. The shoulder dislocation typically is contact, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. um, typically what happens is the arm is externally rotated and abducted. So in football, that's going to be your defensive back going up for a ball or the receiver and getting their arm pulled back. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is that'll overwhelm the rotator cuff muscles, tear the ligaments in the front of the shoulder, and then the shoulder pops out of place. Yeah, I see that sometimes quarterbacks too, maybe uh, getting hit on the side and landing all the way down there, that big D, D1 lineman. I mean, so if someone, if that happens, like is it automatic? have to have surgery to repair it or are there other things that can happen? Well, so unfortunately for our high school athletes, uh, the statistics show that if you're under 20 years of age when you sustain your first dislocation, there's about a 90% chance that it's going to come out again oh, without wow. surgery. So obviously that's pretty high. So as a sports surgeon, I would recommend repair and I would fix that arthroscopically. And we'd fix the ligaments in front of the shoulder. Now that's a lot better than the old surgery, traditional surgery but it's still gonna cost you three months of rehab and mm. probably a season ender. Right, uh, leading up to that again, we were talking last week about strengthening and, and strength and conditioning, so much different today for high school athletes than it was even you know, 10 or 15 years ago. What are things you see or you encourage young athletes to do to try to ward off an injury like that? Absolutely, so as you know at ASU, we're very into sports performance <laughs> and prevention of injury. And so uh, with the shoulder in particular, what you're looking at is rotator cuff strengthening. The rotator cuff muscles surround the ball of the shoulder and they help support those ligaments. So uh, as you're moving your arm through a range of motion, they're keeping that ball centered in the cuff. So if you tune those up, then you're providing extra restraint and preventing shoulder dislocation. I have a, a quick personal question here. My, my wife, maybe just a few hours show of her, should I have her medical degree? Mm -hmm. <laughs> By that I mean a lot in kidding. So uh, do you, so I, 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 I may have broken a toe and dislocated it on uh, Monday on Labor Day and uh, she, un by accidentally kicking a cooler, she unbeknownst to me, grabbed down, pulled it out and set it in place. Something you recommend, yes or no? Absolutely, yep, body see, tape it and keep going. That's exactly what we did, she, <laughs> she did. I just was not expecting it at, the, uh, at that, <laughs> that yeah. time. And it being a holiday, <laughs> Uh, he, uh, is, he was so much sedated. No, that's not true. That's not even the case. Doc, good to see you uh, as well. Always My pleasure. toe's good. Rotator cuff, I'm good there as well. We'll talk yeah, more man. with uh, Doc Lane all throughout the season here. UTV 44 tonight, Friday Night Rivals. Davidson playing host to Baker. We'll come back and we'll get the Baker side of things as Danny Smith joins us. We'll talk all about it coming up right after this.